Noble citizens across the land, welcome back to another episode of the Noble Citizens Podcast. I'm Che. We got Jade. Hello. We got Ronnie. Yo, 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 yo. And it is Thanksgiving time. We are back with some more stuff to talk about. Stay tuned and let's get weird one more again. Yeah. It is a happy Thanksgiving time once again. Uh, Thanksgiving was yesterday. Happy but, um, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving world. I mean, or people who celebrate uh, well, yeah, I guess not everybody celebrates. Yeah, not everyone. I mean, that. they should. They, it, it gives them an excuse to eat a lot of food. Yeah, that's true. And delicious, to be thankful food. for what you have. And to be thankful for things. Like that's a, true like, too. Like apple pie. Oh hell yeah! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like if if Thanksgiving didn't have apple pie, then it would be pointless for me. But see, Agreed. the thing is, Agreed. What we can do and what everybody else can do in you know, while giving thanks, is they can make Thanksgiving their own, like we do. We don't do the traditional Thanksgiving meal. No, nah, we don't. We don't do the turkey and the cranberry sauce and the, you we, know. We don't do the neck bones and the, we, and the, 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 the uh, grits. The and oxtail. The, <laughs> oxtail. The chitlins <laughs> and the, and the, I was thinking of that one YouTube video, like, man, I want some neck bone. I want some turkey. And I pig feet. Some, and yeah. pig feet. Yeah, we don't do all that. The yeah. greens and all that. It's just not our style. We do greens, just not those type of greens. Yeah, we uh <laughs> 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 Yeah, okay. Uh, silent pause. Um so yeah, we do our own thing. We're Trini. I'm white. Well, you know, but you're honorary Trini. Okay. And um yeah. we just, you know, we do our own thing or we have our own flavor to it. I don't know. I don't think us being Trini has anything to do with what we eat for. Are you Thanksgiving. sure about that? Because we eat very American food still, just not the the traditional Thanksgiving tr- uh, American food. Well, when we're with mom, you know, who you know wasn't in time this time around, wasn't in town this time around. But when we're with her, we we eat pretty, you know, Trini esque foods, like a like a twist on some Trini items. You know what I'm saying? I guess, but Ronnie Ronnie made some pretty uh, American foods. This time around, so I Ronnie did. busted and it down yesterday. Bust down, Tatiana. Tatiana, <laughs> Rontiana. <laughs> <laughs> that was funnier in my head. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, Ronnie made some wings. Ronnie made uh, what else? He made? He made, he made ribs. Yeah. He made uh, uh, shrimp fettuccine, shrimp Alfredo. fettuccine Alfredo yes. with the Alfredo sauce, uh, handmade or homemade scratch, scratch. Yes. Because that's what I do. That man exactly. throws it down. And we had some mashed potatoes and some macaroni and cheese. So we that's kind of traditional in a way. Yeah, Ronnie, you, Ronnie, you need to you need to uh, gas yourself up for certain people who doubt you. Yes, you know how to use the seasoning. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like they say, like white people don't know how to season food. Like <laughs> that's not the case with this white person. You were taught well. I I can season I can season food, <laughs> and it tastes delicious. <laughs> Yes, yes. I mean, I don't mean to, uh, you know, toot my own horn. But toot, toot. But toot, toot. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, but besides Thanksgiving, we had a pretty uh, uh, fun last couple days uh, leading up to it. Uh, we, uh, as you may or may not know, we are loyal, uh, huge Miami Heat fans. So uh, we went on another let's Miami go, Heat, let's go Heat NBA adventure, and we went to the game what was it on Monday Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday against the against the Hornets? Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh <clears throat> I don't think I think this is a marathon of me coughing. I, I think this is like the the eighth straight episode I've coughed <laughs> in an episode. I think this is a record. I think that people may be concerned a little bit. I don't have like bronchitis or anything. This is just, you know that you know of. That I know of? I mean I haven't been to the doctor in a while, so Exactly. Yeah. That you know of. Mm. We had um so An eventful it, week. Yeah. So yeah, why, why don't you let them know uh, what we did on Monday night? You talking to me? I'm talking to any of you. Okay. I'm talking to you. Okay. So on Monday, um, in addition to actually going to the game, we were able to get free throw passes for after the game. And we got to take pictures with the Larry O'Briens. Yes, we got to take pictures with the Larry O'Brien and, trophy and Bernie, the Heat mascot. Yes. So you know, for those that don't know, the Larry O'Brien trophies are the championship. NBA championship trophies that they won in 2006, 2012, 12, and 13. And 13 back to back. So it was actually really crazy because when we got there, 
we kind of just went straight up to take the pictures with the trophy. And I realized post picture that I definitely did not pay attention to the fact that those are the actual trophies that we see on TV that we were screaming for, screaming our heads off after they won. Like I took the picture just kind of like to get it done because we were in line to do so. But once that moment passed, I was like, Oh crap. Uh those yeah. are the trophies. I think that's why they put Bernie up there to distract us because I definitely like wasn't <laughs> I, like it was like you know just, oh yeah like, Ber <laughs> Bernie. <laughs> My you original know? plan was to grab one of them and run off, but <laughs> since Bernie was there, I was like, you know what? <laughs> and that was that was their plan. It was a cool moment, and but I think what was even cooler was at the end of the game when we got to go up and do the free throw shots. Um, I went first and. I hit the rim, didn't make it in, but that's a win for me. I actually made, like, it was actually going towards a, a goal of some sort. It wasn't, like, flying to the left or the right. So that, that was the win for me. And then... Yeah, mine, uh, I, I, I always want to make it because, you know, I'm competitive. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't make mine. But anyway, keep going. Yeah, so we had one pass, one three free throw shot pass per person. So we had four tickets that night. We, all three of us went, including our son, Elias. And um, so we all went. And I'm thinking, he's four years old. He's not going to be able to make the free throw. So maybe one of you guys can take his shot. But it doesn't work like that. Nah. It doesn't work like that. So it turns out we got down there, and it's literally one per person. So we get over there. I make mine. I turn around, and all of a sudden, I see Elias has a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's, what's going on? Um, so he... You know, the lady that's kind of running the situation, she looks at him and she's like, oh, do you want to, you know, throw it up there or do you want to just kind of throw it in my arms? And she kind of like forms a, a hoop with her arms. And he kind of he pointed up as in I want to shoot it up there. But his actual shot was far, <laughs> far he, off the mark. He, he, he's he's <laughs> small. He's four years I, old. He is four years old. And we were on like in, we're, we're, we were on the Miami Heat court, like NBA regulation. Yes. Like yes. court. Like mm. he wasn't, it was impossible. He was not going to make that. <laughs> no, like, no, he wasn't. I love him to death, but he was not going to make that <laughs> at all. Yes. So he didn't even make it in kind of his, her arms that she formed for him. Um, but then we continued. Ronnie went, Che went, all of that. And as we're walking off the court, because as you know, in these situations, when there are multiple people that have to do the same thing and they're just, just trying to get it done, they're just like, okay, take your shot. It's late. It's 11 o'clock at it's night. Exactly. Keep your mark and keep it moving. Like, you know, let other people get out of here. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> so we're quickly trying to do that because that's the kind of people that we are, you know, fairness to all. Um, and so as we're walking off of the court, we hear, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Just wait, wait. One second. One second. Just wait. And I'm thinking, okay. Um, <laughs> like, what are we waiting for? Uh, we all went. So, did we, like, did we do something wrong? Are we in trouble? For a moment when she told us to wait, I honestly thought to myself, I'm like, you know, Elias is a cute kid. Maybe somebody took some video of that moment. Not to toot a horn. Not, but, you know, <laughs> not, not to toot the it's horn. pretty damn cute. But toot toot so um <laughs> wow I actually did it um so i'm thinking in that moment maybe somebody took some video footage and they need us to sign some sort of release because that's what happens when people want to use your image and likeness you have to sign off on a media release mm -hmm. right so i'm thinking okay maybe that's what it is so we stand over there for a few minutes kind of just puzzled and you know looking off like okay what's 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 happening and che what happens next what happens next? Well, uh, I, since we, you know, we're just standing there, we were like, well, should we move to the side so that we're not in people's way? She's like, oh, yeah, 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 just go, just go, move to the side. So, so what did we do next? So mm -hmm. I'm, well, so we're standing there, and then they're just continuing the the line of people taking their foul shot, and we're just standing there, and, you know, we're, we're just like, wow, you know, we're just chilling on the court, you know, we're, you know, by, by these courtside seats. And then I see the courtside seats and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take my opportunity now to <laughs> to sample my future, my future, you know, season ticket uh, location. <laughs> yeah. And let me let me go and sit out, sit out on these lovely, comfortable seats. And so, you know, uh, I, I took a siesta. I was feeling cool. <laughs> uh, I got a, an Instagram pic. It's on my Instagram. Check it out at pro balance pro dot bound. Um, <clears throat> so yeah we're just chilling waiting for something to happen yeah and, and at that moment i was taking pictures of you guys i'm like this is we've been watching this court for what seems like our entire lives right we've Pretty watched much. 
our favorites on that court, D Wade on that court. We've seen, you know, people East, people we don't like on that court. Exactly. Uh, mm. Josh McRoberts. All of it. <laughs> Shout right, out. All of it. <laughs> 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 we've we've watched stop it. We've watched the Eastern Conference Finals live while it was happening. We've we've just we've we feel like we've grown up in that stadium, I mean that arena, I'm sorry. And literally it's something that we've all kind of you know, in our minds, thought to ourselves, in the future, maybe one day I can sit courtside. Yes. Maybe one day, right? And so that happen. opportunity arose, and then we decided to take it. You guys sat down. And then while we were sitting there taking pictures, because, you know, <laughs> the staff member that was behind us, she's like, totally, take take your moment. Take your pictures. Go on. Um, don't mind if I don't do. Don't mind. So then we noticed, I, I actually looked at Che, and I'm like, there's a guy up there. That's wearing a white hat, shorts and a shirt, and he's looking important. Like he's looking, he's looking like somebody that people are taking pictures with. I'm like, who is that? And they kind of turn and look. Still don't know who it is. Still don't know. My who it is guess, now. my guess is that because uh, they were playing the Hornets that night, so my guess is that it was Bismack Biombo. That, that's like that was my that was my best guess, but I really couldn't even recognize his face yeah. looking at him. But yeah, yeah. And so we kind of look and we we couldn't figure out who it was in the moment then i see more important looking people <laughs> coming mm. out i'm like okay and so finally the lady who initially stopped us she comes back and she says oh i i just stopped you guys because i saw what you know your what happened with you know elias taking the shot and all of that and he she's like i just wanted to give you the opportunity to maybe ask i'm gonna ask one of the nba players to see if they can pick him up to make a dunk and so yeah, keep in mind or um let me set the picture that the Hornets players are chilling by like the by the seats yeah. by like the behind like where where they would where their benches like the seats behind that they were chilling there like I don't know just waiting for their team bus or something like they were doing their like uh, post game family meetup friends meetup so they were just right there chilling yeah so they were the important people yeah they were the people that we saw we were like I don't know who that is they were the Hornets players that were kind of gathering after the game because I mean. Heat players, they're not going to gather. They live in town. They just jump in their car and they go. But Hornets players who don't live in town, they kind of have to get together to leave together. So they're all waiting over there. And she says that to us. And we're just like, oh, my gosh, how cool. You know, we're kind of just spaced out. And so finally, she, we're kind of sitting around for about five minutes, I would say. Right? Mm-hmm. Five minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, five, six minutes. Yes. And so a tall gentleman all of a sudden <laughs> comes over. <laughs> And we're just kind of like, hi. I didn't know who he was. We knew who he was. We knew who he was. (laughs) And he was? Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum. So he comes over and he's just like, hi. And Ronnie, what did you say to him? I said, "Um, are you sure you want to do this? (laughs) (laughs) Like he's like 40 or 50 pounds, you know. And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 it's fine. He's like, my my son's like 45 pounds. He's like, I lift him up all the time. It's it's good. It's good. Okay, cool. Like. You know, I said, thank you. We appreciate it, you know. Yeah. And then he lifted him up, up and he missed the first shot. He did. Because I don't think he was high enough. Nah, he wasn't. No. And he, then he just kind of like half-assed, like put him up there. Yeah. And I guess he thought he was, you know, strong enough to just shoot it in there from yeah. that distance. But nah, he wasn't. But then once he realized that he missed it, he was like, okay, we're going to get, we're really going to get like, you. He's like, nah, nah, nah. We're going to get this done. Yeah, we're going to get you hmm. up there. <laughs> And there, so. was, there was a guy on the other side of him that seemed to be working with the Heat because he was wearing, you know, red and black. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, I think he was kind of trying to coach Eli's through it. Oh, the guy with the glasses? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the he short was like, glasses. He was like, yeah. no, 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 you know, do this, do this. Yeah. And, um, and everybody's kind of at this point noticing what's happening. So everybody's kind of just gathered to cheer him on. Cell phones are right? broke out. Recordings are happening. Totally. <laughs> and the ladies who are initially running the show, <laughs> they're just like, what's happening yeah. like you can see just by the look on their face they're like i thought they were already done because we literally took the ball from somebody who was waiting in line <laughs> yeah well the yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like the person the person who like went was supposed to go up right before eli or you know had his thing like they he were was, just like wait what <laughs> yeah he, he he was dribbling like he was getting ready to shoot and he was dribbling he was like he had, he had stopped dribbling and he was getting ready to position the ball or position his arm to shoot and like, or you know, like, like you know, get his form right. And they're like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. And they just took the ball from. They didn't say nothing. They just said, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> and took the ball out of his hand. And the dude's just standing there like, what the hell's going on here? Yeah. 
We know that. Then, we know that feeling. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. We Che Che and I know firsthand how it is to be the first ones denied. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, that's another story for another time. Yes. Um. But once like that guy realized like what was going on, like he was like he wasn't like he didn't have like a weird look on his face anymore like he was like smiling like, oh. he, yeah he pulled his phone out he started recording like i said there's a lot of people who pulled their phones out and recorded but uh but yeah he missed the first shot but then uh but then nick batum realized like he didn't make it like he had to be a little bit higher up so he palmed him mm-hmm. <laughs> he, Full he, butt palm. he palmed his butt, butt and palm. like just lifted him up there <laughs> and then eli was like so happy because like everyone's cheering like yeah you know everyone's cheering eli just got this huge smile on his face and he's so happy and like I don't know, like I don't like he was just having a good time, so he didn't like he didn't like shoot the ball, so he pulled him back down and said something to him, I think, and then put him right back up, and then Eli dunked the ball. Yes, victory! Yeah. It was a uh, it the was crowd a, goes wild. Yeah, everyone everyone cheered for him. Everyone was clapping. It was it was fun. It was an experience for him. Yeah, it was an experience for us. You know, we got to meet Nick Batum. I yeah. felt like I wanted to ask him for like a picture or something, but I felt like you know what you you didn't have to lift my son up that. yeah, you, yeah. You, you have to do that you did that out of the kindness of your heart i appreciate it i'm not going to bother you with asking you for a picture you know yeah it was very nice he very adds nice to the short video. list of people who have held eli <laughs> yeah. yeah nba players yeah. nba players tyler johnson yeah so i Shout mean out. as you were saying Jay, you're pretty much like okay now he has to play basketball or something because he's met he's four years old and he's met two nba players in like, his lifetime this is this is the, the origin story <laughs> of his nba career <laughs> yeah as a toddler, he was held by Tyler Johnson, <laughs> and he even dunked the ball with an assistance from Nicholas Batum. From then Hornets forward, Nicholas Batum. And then that's when, that's when they put the picture that you took. Like, eh. Yes. So if anybody wants to see footage of this great moment, it's on our Instagram at Noble Citizens PC. Go ahead and take a look at it. It's a great moment. Go, Everybody loved it. I mean, check yeah. that out. I mean, for for some people, it might not seem like a big deal, but like we're huge basketball fans, we're huge for, we're huge uh, sports fans. So, and it's it's not even that too. It's just kind of like you never know what can happen to you. It's like one of those things that it's so random and out of the box. We were literally the only people that that happened to. There were yeah, other kids around. There, yeah. there are other kids that did it. But for some reason, we were chosen out of a bunch yeah. for that special moment. So it's kind of like one of those things like you never know what what ha- you, the world has in store for you. He the just, universe is at work. He's just got that infectious cuteness that's just like you want to do something for him. I kind of <laughs> I kind of feel like that's what it might be, to be honest with you, because like <coughs> she said, like this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. You know, yeah. like even um, at the acting school. Yeah. You know, like he was running around. Granted, he was the only kid his age running around there. Mm. But like the photographer was like, oh, I'm going to take pictures of him. Stop taking pictures of everybody else, the actors and everyone, and started taking pictures of Eli. Full on photo shoot. Like he was jumping in the air. She's like, one, two, three, jump. And she was doing a full thing with him to get photos of him. Yeah. So like this isn't like, I mean, and there's, there's other times where things have happened, but that, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And imagine this is his very first NBA game. Yeah. Very first game. This happens to you. Who else could say that they got butt palmed by an <laughs> NBA player to dunk a ball? Very first game you went to in your life. <laughs> so I can't check that off my box. Yeah, but. pretty yeah. rad moment. Yeah, me neither. Originally, Willie Hernan Gomez was supposed to do it because the lady at, like went to the tallest people first to see. But then I, I was looking at her, talking to him, like asking him to do it. And he was like pointing to his shoulder like, nah, I can't do that. I have like a strain. I have a bum shoulder. I, you know, I, yeah. I just... I mean, yeah. if you're hurt, like I don't, like I would, oh, or, or if like yeah. you have even like a slight, like oh my shoulder sore, like I mean, this is your job, yeah. you know, or, or that's your job, you know, like playing basketball is your job. I wouldn't want you to throw your shoulder out or something, <laughs> <laughs> lifting up my kid, then I'd feel terrible. Yeah, but. and you you saw how when she came over, like, and they want to make sure that you're comfortable and everybody else is comfortable. They would yeah. hate it. Imagine if he did that and he dropped him or something. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Yeah. You know, all of it could be awkward and terrible for everybody <laughs> involved. So we want to definitely make sure yeah. everybody's okay with all, right? Because exactly. she came yeah. over right before he did it, too. And she's like, are you sure you want to do it? Are you guys, you know, in agreement? You want to put them up there, all that, you know? So, yeah, as long as they're comfortable with it, go for it. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, it was good. I mean, I was, like I said, Eli, you could tell Eli was happy. It was an experience for him. It was a, an experience for us. We got to meet Nick Batum. Yeah. You know. 
And on so. top of that, not only did he get that experience, you know, on his first game, he also got to sit courtside for his game ever for a Wait. brief moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, did he ever really sit down? I mean, yeah, he yeah. sat down. We did, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we did, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know Eli's not a sitter. <laughs> yeah, not not really. But, yes. yeah, so shout out to Nick Batum for Yay. doing that. We appreciate it. Shout out to the Charlotte Hornets lady, athletic trainer. We don't yeah, know your name, yeah, but Yeah, we you never rock. got your name, yeah, but you're, yeah, we appreciate you. You're awesome for should have making that up, happen. But, uh, yeah, we should have. But, well, we will next time, if we remember. Yes. It's funny, when we came home... We were like, oh, could you imagine, like, if we played another team, who else could have did it? Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, we could have played the Bucks. Giannis could have did it. Yeah. Or we could have played the Sixers. Joel Embiid could have did it. <laughs> we could have played the Lakers. Oh. <laughs> and LeBron could have did it. Who knows? So, yeah. And then a couple of days later, <laughs> we ate our asses off. So. Oh, yeah. That, that's true. That's a weird choice of words, but we'll, we'll move past <laughs> it. It was. <laughs> Uh, Ronnie made his wings and his uh, whatever, and um, I ate my pie, and it was delicious. And you guys really liked absolutely, it. Do. and we have leftovers for days, so all that's good. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, yes, um, you know, we all have something to be grateful for mm. around this time as we near the end of not only 2019 but the whole decade. Yes, and we reflect on the things that we are grateful for. So uh, we're gonna start with you, Ronnie. What 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 things are you grateful for? Everything. <laughs> Boy. Be more specific. Life. Tell me more. Life. <laughs> Apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's an answer right there. Yeah. Um, no, just just family. You know, everyone's healthy uh, for the most part. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone's healthy for the most part. You know, everyone's working for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, well, uh, move, uh, move on, move on. <laughs> um, yeah, every everyone's healthy, you know. Uh, we're we're getting back on on this grind, you know. This this podcast. Look at us, two weeks in a row, consistency. <laughs> yes. Let's go. We were um, a little late on this one recording it, but who cares? You know, we're yeah, here. We're here. Yeah. Um. <coughs> yeah, and just just family, you know, family and everyone being healthy. Awesome. As I yeah. <coughs> over here, uh, <laughs> I'm coughing too. You just really can't hear it that much. <laughs> it's or silent. You, you think it's Che? Uh, Jade. Yes. What are you thankful for? I mean, after this whole experience this week, and I think I am a believer, firm believer, that everything happens for a reason, and that the universe will unfold itself. And everything will be okay at the end of the day. So when things like what happened on Monday happen and just randomly good things, you know, arise, it kind of gives me inspiration and motivation and keeps me going and honestly leads me to believe that, you know, everything that we're working toward, it might seem difficult. It might seem like a long road. It might seem like all the odds are stacked against you. But at the end of the day, there's a plan and literally when you least expect it good great things will happen you just have to keep going and keep you know balling keep keep just driving everything that you want to do and god's plan exactly and everything will unfold at, at the end of the day so i'm really really happy i'm thankful that i have this drive and this inspiration to do what i want to do and for family and friends and all of that and health and Food, and <laughs> love, all that. She was like, "Let me talk about me for a second. <laughs> we'll get to them later." I'm thankful for me and my motivation and my positivity. Thank you for me. <laughs> uh, what am I thankful for? Well, pie was already brought up. Mm. I had a lot of that <laughs> over the last couple of days in the quantities. Yes. Um, what am I thankful for? I guess I, I'm thankful Ooh, for... Sorry, go on. Uh, all right, well, we can guess later. Uh, <laughs> I'm thankful for having uh, a roof over my head. Ooh, good one. Um, for the clothes on my back. Mm. Uh, Preach. Just, um, you know, the opportunities and, and the situations that are, that I'm currently in, even though sometimes they might be tough and it, it's hard and it's, and it's straining, and, uh, you know, it, it forces you to grow and to push through it. 
But, uh, you know, overall, I'm, I'm just grateful that I even get to be in it and do it in the first place, mm-hmm. you know, because I, I could be doing something else that, you know, that I wouldn't enjoy mm-hmm. and being miserable. If there is no challenge, there is no change. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, but fortunately, that's the truth. Resistance brings strength. True that. True. Mm-hmm. Look at you with your wise words. Yes. <laughs> um yeah i'm thankful for family for these people here because you know they're they are my rock and uh supporters as i am them um and i'm also thankful for the miami heat because we're winning the nba finals <laughs> we won one tonight we 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 what 13 and 5 right now yeah 13 and 5, 13 and five yeah nice um Strong start, guys. Yeah, and I'm just, uh, you know, thankful for another opportunity to do what I want to do in life every day. And hopefully the next decade will be awesome. Guess what else I'm thankful for? I just I try to make that sentimental. Go ahead. Sorry. I just remembered. Guess what else I'm thankful for? What's that? Guess. Guess what? Something that was recently acquired that You're will go down next year. You're thankful for Harry Styles tickets. <laughs> yeah. Lord. <laughs> Wow. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holidays are upon us, y'all. They are. Chris Chris. Chris Chris. That's what Eli used to say when he'd see Christmas lights. Chris Chris. Chris Chris. Yeah. So are you guys excited for holiday food, holiday drinks, no, holiday I, love? I got to cook the holiday foods so and no. Dang. I mean, but you get to enjoy it after you True. Cooking. So y'all can cook something. I don't know how to cook. Learn. Oh, but one thing we can do, guys. What's that? Both of you happen to love eggnog. I love me some eggnog. Me too. Bangers. And we just happen, so happen, by random circumstance, to have two different types of eggnog in the refrigerator right now. Wow, just out of circumstance, just two types just of eggnog? By sheer coincidence. Just sitting in the refrigerator? Sitting there. Unopened? Unopened. Why ever would that be? <laughs> Let's do a little taste test. I'm not an eggnog fan. Okay, it's just not my thing. Not my vibe. What's wrong with you? But <laughs> I will be glad to host this taste test. Let's see which one's better. See, me and Ronnie's uh, opinion... Is that because we always get MacArthur? MacArthur is you with know, the with the big old Santa Claus on it. I'll go ahead and get you them. Hold can't on. you can't not have eggnog without the big old Santa face on your bottle? Then you, your eggnog ain't legit. That's 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 that that's fact. That's that's false eggnog if if the Santa ain't on the bottle. That's true. And MacArthur is like has been distributing uh, milk to schools since like sixteen eighty nine. That's facts. <coughs> so why would you not trust the, the best name in milk that's, and dairy products? That's facts, my guy. So uh, ever since the dawn of time, uh, people have or should be drinking MacArthur eggnog. Uh, by the way, MacArthur, if you want to, you know, you know, lo- flow me for for this uh, gas up, you know, just not you know. just you. I mean, I'm over here. too. Sorry, bro. if you want to flow Jesus us me for this um, for this gas up, just you know at probound.com, you know. Just, you know. So um yeah, I, I Ronnie, didn't you say that like somebody else said that like they feel like another eggnog is better? Yeah, um a guy that I work with said that he feels like a uh, Publix brand eggnog is better. Which I've never had Publix brand eggnog. I mean, we're about to because we bought some. Yeah, other pe- people but, that don't live in Florida and Georgia and you know probably like parts of Alabama and North or South Carolina don't know what Publix is. Publix is a is a grocery store. Yes, it's predominantly in Florida, and there's a lot in Georgia. It's so it's it's like a southeastern uh, district of the United States that Publix is in. Let me tell you, you should be ashamed to not have Publix in your life because they literally, like, for people who have grown up with Publix, they are thankful for Publix because it's literally provided this community. And vast communities across this southeastern section of the United States with fire chicken tender subs, <laughs> fire apple pies, right. 
Um, they even have a thing. I, I don't even know if this is true, but I heard they have a policy to where you can literally eat the whole pack of something and they go return it. They'll give you your money back. We're going like, to try that. We're testing that out tomorrow. You can't even you can't beat that. You can't. All right. I'm back. So, so let me put on my headphones. Hold on. Other people have said, you know, I mean, we figured, you know, we might as well. We so have, we have the eggnog. We don't want it to go bad. So, you know, so. Jade, you know what's what? You know which one is which? I did. I made a double cup, one of them, and I made the single okay, cup. Okay, don't another. tell us. Don't tell us of until after we. I'm not going to tell you. Because we. Let me look at these, you know. The and consistency, also. The consistency is. Uh, I'm putting this on our same. Instagram. So yeah. hold on one second. Hold on before you. I'm not drinking. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm the <laughs> consistency. We got to. We got to look at the consistency of both of them. We have to smell both of them. Mm. All right. How are you feeling hey, about on. it? Hold on. Here we go. It smells. What smells better? This one, the single <clears> cup <throat> smells more eggnoggy to me. Okay. Hi Instagram. Here Hi. we go. Hi Instagram. Starting our uh, eggnog taste test. Okay, they're sniffing. Can I can I taste it now? Um. Yeah. Can we taste it yet? We can taste it. How now? about you guys try the same? One. The single cup? The single cup. The single, single cup. cup. Okay. Now, right. are, you si- are you sipping or are you going to drink a bunch? I guess I'll sip. Okay. Here we go. Was it ADSR? Hold on. <laughs> I feel like this is a public friend. ASMR, you mean? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> 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 mm. Eggnoggy. <laughs> this this one's good. This one's good. Okay, eggnog taste test round one. It's legit. I like it, but I feel like this one might be the. See public the thing. The thing is, Maybe. is that I can't remember exactly which like what the MacArthur one tastes like because I only have it once a year because they only sell it once a year. <laughs> I don't have it every day. But that's good. That's good for this experiment. I guess so. Perfect. So. Because because then you won't. Because then you won't drink and be like, oh, yep, this is it. This is MacArthur's. I know it. I drink it all the time. All right. I guess that's true. So round two. Ready? <laughs> Double cup time. Double cup. Push a, z- up. Push a zip up. You can't and a... Uh, oh, I didn't even know I had you. one. <laughs> a zip and a double cup. <laughs> I'm getting high as fuck. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. This is fun. <laughs> there's, a taste, there's a slight taste difference. Cup number one is better. Cup number one is better. What do yeah. you think, Ch- er, Ronald? I, I agree. I think cup number one's better. Ooh, are you ready for the reveal? Hold on, wait. Let me. Oh damn. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, let Hold me on. taste. Let me taste number <laughs> one more time. <laughs> I feel like there's like a warmness with cup number one. I feel, I feel like, like cup number two, like I feel like cup number it's like foreign. Now, I feel like cup, I feel like cup number one's a tad bit like thicker in consistency yeah. a little bit. Now, let me say that before this, you guys had both <laughs> loved MacArthur, oh, oh right? God. We're about and, to be devastated, I feel like. And, that, <laughs> and that somebody suggested the Publix brand to you guys and said it was better. You would doubted it, right? Yeah. Cup number one, the cup that you loved was... Wait. One second. <laughs> 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 the suspense is killing me. The suspense. Hold on, wait. Let me get back on Instagram. Hold on. Let me go ahead and kill this. Let me, let me go, say, go, ahead, take a little. go ahead and kill this real quick. Okay, we're going. Okay, here we we're back. We're back. Okay, mm-hmm. so cup number one, the cup that you loved was from Publix. Bro, for real? What? <laughs> what? And and it's cheaper than MacArthur's. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on let, me, let me taste it one more time. Yeah, I just I feel like cup number one is like, like it's Publix brand. I think it, I I still I still think it tastes better. See, even no one, I still think cup number one tastes better. What what I what I notice about MacArthur's is that it kind of has like an aftertaste. It kind of has like this. All right, it, so yay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> But MacArthur still gets my love, though. <coughs> I still drank MacArthur's eggnog like there was no tomorrow. I don't mm-hmm. know, bro. I, I felt might, gassy as hell the next day for good, I, because I, of it. I might be switching to Publix. Wow. I mean, you guys. 
Wow. Now, now I don't drink my public eggnog when I buy it now. <laughs> See, MacArthur could have been getting ready to write me a check, and now, now that's that's not going to happen. <laughs> we all know public going to write me no damn check. <laughs> but you can go in there, open up a bag, a family bag of, of Doritos, eat it, <laughs> and then get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> Empty. Bag all tore up. No crumbs, nothing. You done licked the inside of the bag, everything. I didn't uh, like it. These were disgusting. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Publix it is. That won the taste test. The holidays are upon us. Are we excited? I feel like you're lying yes. to us. <laughs> okay, you could taste it after this. Okay, you could go back into the, the refrigerator and get the, the Publix one. Thanks again for joining us for another episode. As always, it is a pleasure. Remember to follow us on IG and Twitter at Noble Citizens PC. Search Noble Citizen Podcast on Facebook. Follow me on the Instagram at Ronnie underscore NCP. Follow me on IG at underscore J-A-E-D-E underscore. And follow me on IG. It's ProBound at Pro.Bound. Disney Plus still waiting on your sponsor. I'd just like to say happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday season. Please join us for the next episode. It is a noble thing to do. We're all thankful for you. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Bye.